Hello everybody and welcome back to Bad Master Prince, which I do represent in the previous episode. We did, um, what did we do in the previous episode? I cannot remember. Either way, oh, that was it. We played as Tainted Eve and unfortunately had a very big incident with me taking rotten hearts like a moron. Either way, gonna jump in. Uh, do you just want to quickly go over um, some extra mods that I've got? Of course, most people know most of these. General fixes and visual tweaks, but the um, one that I recently got was uh, this one here, which is Tainted Eden Item Pool Fix, which originally all that does is remove nine lives and uh, I believe um, Shard of Glass from the item pools because they had some really negative interactions with Tainted Eden. But it is it said in the description of the mod, you can tweak it and add any items you want. So I've tweaked it to my own personal likings and all respawn on hit effect items and items that give you things upon pickup have been completely removed apart from some niche scenarios but you can't use respawn items as tainted eden because you never get low enough health before you re-roll out of the item you can't use on hit effects because as soon as you get hit once you re-roll um and you cannot um you cannot really utilize things that give you stuff on pickup unless you physically pick them up because if you re-roll into let's say a booster pack you don't get any cards so what's the point so all of those have been removed as well as the d100 d4 missing nerve being removed as well just because why would you want those uh, and i think it's going to make tinted eden a whole lot more enjoyable to play so we're going to try this out in just a moment one sec yeah let's get into this now let's go give it a try out and see if this makes a difference because tinted eden at least for me has been very frustrating to play uh as of late and what <laughs> very frustrating to play starts with revelation <laughs> what in the hell all righty then so uh this is definitely a good start and i assure you i did not change it this much i didn't just make it give you revelation to start it may look like that but my god that's a lucky start. So, yeah, we should hopefully um, see that our rerolls are a little bit better. It's not like I've removed a ton of items, but, like, just ones that you really don't want to see on a reroll slash basically do nothing for you, like respawns, uh, have all been removed. Just, it just, there was so much blur and so many items you could get rerolled into that were just such a massive disappointment to, uh, to see that... It made no sense for him to be there, so I've gone and got rid of those. And we'll hope that that makes a difference and makes this guy quite a lot more fun to play. Because at the minute, he ain't so much. It's going to be super sad to lose this flight, by the way. It is going to be super sad to lose this flight. Really? That didn't hit the donation machine? Alrighty then. Um, Yeah. And also, it means now that Nine Lives is gone, we can actually go in to deal with the devils without worrying about re-rolling into Nine Lives and losing all of our HP. Which is a genuine concern you can have with this um with this character which is kind of silly but it exists um we might end up going for the uh there's options option in the shop just because we uh we might be able to get the money together if we get like one more bomb even just an extra charge of our space bar item might do it so let's go and uh blow up our donation machine a little bit and grab that because it's going to help in the future especially if we can manage to keep our um if we can manage to keep our what's it called for as long as possible what am I trying to say? I, I honestly ca cannot remember what I was trying to say. Our run, our revelations run is what I meant. As long as we can keep that for as long as possible, might be pretty good. I would like to buy that soul heart as well, but who knows if we'll get the opportunity to do that. Uh, let's keep on going and try this one out. Right. Did we go this way already? Yes, we did. Oh, god damn. Also, Eden right now is looking absolutely amazing, I've got to say. Okay, get over the rocks while we can. I Revelation giving you flight is, like, the best thing ever. It's so useful. And the fact that we can fire our normal tiers alongside it, even better. Now we have spectral tiers on top of it as well because of a peel of duplex. It's just all good right now. Everything is all good right now. Okay, keep, keep, keep our distance and hope for the best. There we go, we got him. Uh, we are going to try and go to the alt path, um, but we're going to go normal path first to try and secure our devil deal and then make our way back up. That's always kind of the way I play it with these harder characters. Of course, we have more options and we get Curse of the Blind. Why wouldn't we? The game's just got to do things like that to us. Uh, we did get a nice bit of money there. Nice chunk of change. I very much like that. Um, should be able to do quite a lot with that. And boom. We need to keep at least one key, remember? Doesn't matter which one of these guys we uh, we grab. God damn it. Stupid flies. Grab that. Ball attack. 
fine by me. Actually kind of cool with this. <laughs> we are looking amazing right now. Absolutely amazing. With that question mark on our head as well. I didn't even notice that to start with. Oh god, Revelations is going to carry us quite a ways here. I would imagine at least a good a good amount of distance. Hopefully at least through downpour. At least through downpour before getting hit. We, we never know. You never really know how you're going to go. But Revelations on start is, uh, is pretty dang good. Uh, Shop will definitely check that out. We definitely want an item here. So I think we'll try and this time actually hit both. We did indeed. And grab that. Sadly, it's the Bible. Um, actually, I'm more, I'm more keen to keep the Bible. To be honest, I'm not gonna lie. Well, there's that gone. Um, unfortunately for me, I did not see that there. <laughs> I was really hoping that'd carry us quite far there, but not really. But yeah, so we do have some items that we're going to be excluded from um, from seeing on rerolls. I don't actually know how it works versus like picking up versus rerolls. We might still be able to reroll into them, but I'm hoping not based on the changes that I made. Uh, I only tweaked an existing mod. It wasn't anything huge. I'm going to go and get that air soul heart. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can't believe we lost my relations already, but such is the way. Having flight was actually kind of a curse there. A bit of a curse. Grab and grab. Smelter here could be interesting. We could get a good amount out of this. This this run's pretty good for stats as well. We're doing well. We've got our extra key going as well, so we're good on that front. And it's just good old Dingle. Good old Dingle Dangle. We've got a few Bebskis with us as well. Harlequin Baby and Ghost Baby doing work. Harlequin Baby, of course, really not making too much of a difference. Kind of missing most of the time, but I won't hold it against him. He's trying his darndest. And we get ourselves lunch. Um, and I think we're going to go Angel Deal. Angel Deal just seems like the way to go right now. We want to keep as much HP as we can possibly ride with, to be honest. Um, one moment. Cool. Let's carry on. Let's push forward. Uh, we got some partial mapping here because of the compass. That's kind of nice. Try and go for our item room first. Remember, we don't have flight anymore. That is one of my biggest um, problems whenever I... With my t uh, plane tainted even when I get flight and then lose flight, I just completely forget that I don't have flight anymore, and it gets me it gets me hit a lot. So keep in mind that we no longer have flight. Please, item room, be something fantastic for us. How does um more options? I know we don't have it anymore, but I wonder how more options works on this floor. I've never actually had it in um in the alt floors, so I don't think I've had it really in repentance much. So kind of an unknown for me there. F fruity plum, hundred percent gonna take that little fella. Fruity Plum is the best gal you've ever seen. No trinket to smelt right now. I'm hoping we find one more before we reroll. I do actually wonder... That's a luck penny. I do actually wonder how... Um, how smelted trinkets work when rerolling. Are you kidding me? Wait, we kept the smelter. I don't know why, but we kept the smelter. That's fantastic. Wait. Are you kidding me? We kept the smelter for one room, then I lost it. That's so upsetting. <laughs> Look at the amount of trinkets we just got game. That's so mean. We actually kept it for one room there and then lost it. <laughs> you, you little shit with your trash Isaac. God damn it. <laughs> I'm so upset about that because uh, it has kept it. Look, we managed to keep it smelted. We could have got two more smelted in there. That is a shame. That is a real shame. But such is the way of tainted Eden. Let's not dwell. Let's not dwell. Our health is looking good right now. That we cannot complain about. We've actually got Magic Mush on this run as well, which is fantastic for us. And Mr. Me. So we should definitely check out our shop because we might be able to steal an item before we get rid of this spacebar item here. Uh, the moving box, unfortunately, there's literally no reason to steal that. Bit of a waste of a key there. Keep pushing forward. We've got to get our knife piece this floor as well. Remember that. Okay, we got um, Pot Boys. Yep. Oh, I knew it. When they picked up... Ooh, 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 ooh. 100% gonna soul convert all of us. Um, I I just knew then that things were gonna go wrong because they both picked up buckets full of water and they uh, spit out a bunch of tears at you as soon as they dropped them. I was like, oh, no, no. Oh, no, what have I done? I just did that instinctively and just realized I don't have a bomb um, for the door now. But I suppose I can go back to the normal path and come back up, so that's not too big of an issue. Soul Convert here, though. Super good. Uh, where's our fire? I remember seeing it. There we go. I was going to say, I remember seeing it, but I don't remember where. We'll probably go and do our boss um, again. Wait a minute. Yeah, we can do our boss twice, yeah. 
We don't know what boss we've got, but I'm, I'm pretty confident in this run to do the boss. Let's go and do our boss twice. Hemolacria is insanely good, so... As long as we can get... As, as we're pushing through these rooms okay, then I'll be happy with it. Ooh, and a, a Tinted Rock as well. Okay, this is kind of upsetting. I really want to use Tinted Rocks for Soul Converter while we have the opportunity, but I need to keep my bombs. I'm hoping the game gives me a few extra bombs here. Yeah, this is a hard room because the buckets are full of water. Which immediately means that um, that happens. That's a, that's a tricky room right there. That's a very well-designed room, though. That is tricky in a good way. It's, it's kind of easy to avoid if you realize what's happening. But if you don't, it can screw you over a bit. Okay. No extra bomb yet, and I can't remember if there was one in the shop or not. But we are, we are crushing rooms at the minute, so I think we're good to go for our boss. No matter what boss it is, I think we should be okay. Because, like, like, just look at this. The, the, the power. Come on, give us a bomb. We might have to go to these extra rooms here in order to try and get a bomb. Do you know what? I'm going to take that super ball. Come on. Oh, shit. There's still a, there's still a goober about. And you lot as well. Bomb. Cancer. That's good. Okay, I'm actually just going to completely ignore the uh, the little fly, 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 fly dude. It actually worked out quite well. Got you. Got ourselves a speed up. It's more boss items to reroll into, which is great. Um, let's carry on back. We actually, we do have two bombs now. So where, where did we get the bomb from? I've been saying, can I have a bomb for ages? And I've just realized that I already have one. Um, I'm still going to do this, though. Honestly, because we can go to the normal path. That is not what I wanted to see. Not what I wanted to see at all. I was really hoping for Soul Hearts to convert. Because we can go to the shop on this floor. And we can go dip down back to the normal floor and get a bomb before bombing through anyways. Let's just check the shop first. If we can buy one, it'd be way easier. Yeah, we can buy two. I'm, I'm, I'm going to dip down anyways back to the normal path. I want to try and get as much HP as possible. Try and get an Angel next floor as well. That'd be good. Uh, sorry, Petrified Poop. I could have smelled it so many trinkets this floor. Bit upsetting. Oh, we, I forgot we had this guy again. I'm not going to lie. And I've been hit by him already. Oh, and this time we have a really pathetic run as well. We do have Tech X. No, we don't. We just have a baby that has Tech X. Damn. I, come, I walked into this room really boldly, completely forgetting. Um, Yeah, normal path. God damn, that was, a, that was a bad run to lose. I like that one a lot. Bad run to lose. What on earth is going on here? Oh, we just have another another baby. Also, why does the why does the game insist on giving you the absolute worst trinkets it possibly can? Why would I want purple heart? Do you know what? Just pop this. This room's taking forever. Yeah, our fire rate's really, really bad right now, so rooms are taking quite some time. Quite some time. I'm kind of tempted to just get a reroll going. For the sake of it. If we get hearts off this dude, then I'm going to do it. Do you know what? Or I'm just going to accidentally get hit by a guy that's underground and I didn't see. Even though I have a mod specifically made for being able to see those dudes. Good stuff. Don't worry. We've got Ares. Oh, ho, ho. I'm not going to use Ares too much because, yeah. Wait, we still have Ares? What the hell? We got Soul Converter back. Yay. Right, let's not piss around anymore. I was kind of pissing around with Ares then on a room that's just not worth pissing around with Ares on at all. Uh, Glacoma. We got ourselves Ipecac here. Oh, we've also got Lucky Rock still. I completely forgot about that. That's still in there. Really good to know that smelted trinkets don't get re-rolled away into other items or just disappear. Grab and grab. Um, I'm not going to soul convert this yet. Because I want to try and get an angel chance. We also got planetarium chance at the minute too. Rather nice. Restock. A soul heart. Now we'll convert one of these. Do you know what? 
This is some good stuff. Yep. I'm going to do it one more time. There you go. That soul converter there has probably been a pretty big savior for us. This is a lot of HP that the game can't take away from us. Which is really, really nice. We cannot be re-rolled away from this HP. Pretty fantastic, actually. Like, as you can see, look, we're still on really high HP even with that re-roll. Oh, baby! <laughs> this is a rare room. As you can see, it's got quite a bit of dollar in it. And we could give back to the donation machine, but I ain't no chump. I ain't no chump. Again, this run isn't exactly brilliant. Do you know what? We've got chaos as well. We might want to re-roll ourselves before we fight our boss. Because we could just end up getting chaos into a... Um, chaos directly into a thingy. What's it called? Crappy non... Eh, yeah, we'll take that. A crappy non-angel um, room item. We might end up getting hit in this room anyways. We didn't. Um... I kind of want to go get hurt. <laughs> I don't want chaos while we're fighting the boss. But at the same time, we do only have half a soul heart, so I guess we kind of have to. Okay, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do something risky here. I'm going to play the boss normally, as much as possible at least. Yeah, there you go. And then take damage against you. Didn't work out in the end. Um... Spacebar item right now would give us an item. So, yeah, let's do it. Give us two spirit hearts as well. Um, and we can now bomb through here. We've got Ludo at the minute. Not good with low shot speed as well. Not great for us at all. Uh, we've been to our shop and everything as well on this floor. Let's go down. Yeah, this isn't a great run, but we do have Candied Heart. We might be able to make Candy Heart work in some sort of way. I don't know. I always call it Candied Heart, but it's just Candy Heart. But, yeah, this is another run that we might want to just re-roll. <laughs> Hoping to get another spacebar item from the shop because spacebar items from the shop seem to be paying out with Soul Converter quite a lot. And that's really good for us. We do have a good amount of damage on this run though. Just uh, we, we need more shot speed really to make this happen. But so far, um, this, this little mod that I've, uh, I wouldn't say I've put together. Someone else has put together and I've heavily, heavily tweaked. Seems to be paying off. Seems to be uh, a really good way of uh, making this character a little more tolerable. Because we actually aren't just getting re-rolled into trash items a lot of the time. Items that literally do nothing. It's even I even got rid of stuff like uh, Matchbook and Latchkey. Because they mainly you mainly want those for the keys and the bombs. Or the Black Heart. And you can't get those. So what's the point? I know that the initial time you pick them up give you still give you the stuff. And you probably want that. But other than that. Uh, we'll bomb through here and check what this card is. Chariot. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to bomb through here as well because we'll get some coins. Not that we need the coins at the minute. We're at 99. Actually, well, let's just leave that money there and go to our shop and then come back to that when we actually need to uh, pick up some money. Because at the minute, we definitely do not. These enemies can be a pain. It's okay, though, because he's dead. Pop Pop. I really can't remember what Pop Pop does with Ludo. Ooh, that's so cool. I don't actually know if that does anything other than the visuals, but I like it nonetheless. <laughs> that's really, that looks really cool. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll take it. Sadly, nothing else we can do here. Let's donate some. We've got so much donating to do. Yeah, as good as I say, we might get some luck and all that jazz. Um, keep it going. You need to go because you're going to spawn spiders, aren't you? So, yeah, I wouldn't be too too sad to lose this run here. We are a mines too as well, so we've got to remember to do our uh, thingy. Our mines adventure with Mother. Okay, Ludo is unfortunately pretty terrible for this situation. Because if he spawns things below us or to the side, we're going to have to completely take focus off of him. I think that's going to get him. Yeah, it is good. It's not exactly the most damage, but it's additional damage. Mr. Me's going to help out a little bit. In fact, Mr. Me's doing a good amount of damage here. I cannot complain about Mr. Me's damage right now. Oh, we did get hit, unfortunately. Oh, we got hit again. We haven't lost our angel deal yet, though. 
Yes, we got it. Good stuff. Um, that's actually really good. I mean, any angel item at this point is really good, but Glyph of Balance is especially pretty da pretty damn nice. Let's go and do our angel thing. Um, let's just... Let's just do this now. And go for the double. Unfortunately, you have to reroll to get in there. I know we just lost Glyph of Balance, but we got seven sins. Whoa! Look at that. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. Right, let's keep going. Go and do this. Thank you for all of that. Unfortunately, we're probably not going to get to use a razor here. But we might keep it on us. I'm, I'm, I'm relatively happy with how this is going so far, though. Again, one moment. Hey, I'm back. And I just got a lovely little message from good old Two Left Thumbs. I'm sure many of you know him. A lot of people that are watching this series right now came from his channel uh, a few months back when he did that Isaac uh, history video. Fantastic video. If you haven't seen it, definitely go check it out. But amazing guy. And he just messaged me saying that he might want to play some games and do some recording soon, which is awesome. He's a super cool guy. And I've played a few games with him before and it was very fun. So I'm excited for that. Anyways, let's carry on with the run and see if we can get something good going on. Ooh, oh, ah. <laughs> I was like, yay, a soul heart. And then I just remembered. My, my brain was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not one that we can get. So let's hope we don't get hit here, but let's not get too bummed out if we do. Okay. Uh, let's get you charging over this way. Good, good. This is probably the room I get hit in most. But uh, this one's normally not too bad. This next one depends on bomb throwing techniques. Yeah, this one's not terrible. Sometimes this one can be really bad. And then this next one here is just like... Th this one is just hellish for me. I don't know why, but my brain just cannot comprehend how to do most of this. Especially this one. This room variation specifically is really bad for me. Because I can never get that bomb down there in time. I did that time, but a lot of the time I can't quite do that. Like that. Like, what, what, what the hell's the bomb doing there? Why? Okay, good. We've made it through the first half of this. Good, good. We didn't get hit that time either. We got through here. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. This one can be a little tetchy, depending on what Mother does. But this time, we're good. Okay. Scare around it. Okay, feeling good. I'm, I'm definitely getting better at that, which is a good thing, considering it's been at ages, and I really should be getting better at it by now. <laughs> <laughs> but it's been a kind of a long road to get there. I'm, a, I'm not going to lie. I'm a little bit confused at what the hell just happened there. I have absolutely no idea what hit me. I went to plant a bomb to... Um, I think I had rocket bombs, maybe. I went to plant a bomb to check for my secret room and just exploded. Wasn't quite sure why. Uh, but... That's... What the ha what, what keeps happening to me? <laughs> what keeps happening to me? I do not know. Uh, we got Trisag. Ooh, Ocular Trisag is so good. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that was a lot of a lot of stuff to process there. Got a decent run going. Holy shit, our familiar line. We got Chaos again. One thing I do quickly want to say. Um, we have Stem Cell plus Mum's Box. Mum's Box, of course, doubles the effects of many trinkets the same way Gold Trinkets does. And I currently have a mod that actually adds functionality to a bunch of trinkets that don't have doubled effects. Stem Cells is one of those. So we should see that we spawn with a heart on this floor. There you go, look. And that is an effect of that mod. It's really cool. Really good idea. I'm really glad that someone took the initiative to, like, think about that and go do it. Uh, addicted, of course. No, thank you. <laughs> Ocular is so funny with uh with <laughs> try. <laughs> Just keep firing until it happens and then watch the hilarity. Uh we obviously that doesn't matter for us. Chance to get damage when getting hit is stupid for us. Right, I'm gonna fire these over there until it happens. Go, go, go. Where are my tears? There it is. It just sucks them directly into our line of fire. It's great. Got him. Um, I hope I don't have to go across there because I hate those stupid blocks. With a passion. Um, I think we've got to do this and then this. 
Chance to spawn a pedestal item when getting hit. Lots of chance to do something when getting hit trinkets right now. Oh, I kind of have to do this, right? Right. I, try I tried to get my tri sags going before I did that. I think I got one black heart throughout that. Yeah, uh, one uh, soul heart, sorry, throughout that. I did. Might get hit here. Yep, I did. Sad times, sad times. But we did get BFF with a bunch of cool familiars here. And Whipworm. Okay, this time let's try and make our way across. Oh, God. Spooky rooms. It's weird when we get rerolls like this where you just basically have no damage. Kind of crazy to think that, like, runs can be this bad. Sometimes you get actual runs with characters that don't get rerolled all the time that are genuinely this bad. It's kind of bizarre to think about, really, isn't it? We've also got quints on this run, which is kind of fantastic as well. Steam sale, not going to matter too much. We'll buy the heart. No restock for us. We've got the, um, the, the hanged man, which I believe gives us a bunch of money for killing enemies when we use it in a room. Not that super useful for us right now. We haven't seen our item room this floor quite yet. Um, do, do you know what? I'm going to blow you up. Uh, we got plenty of bombs and keys here. Let's just do this. I say plenty. <laughs> For me, this is plenty. For most most normal players, this is not what, what you'd quantify as plenty, but I'm pretty happy with it nonetheless. Right. Ooh, Soul of Bethany. 100% going to use that. Give me some wisps. We didn't get any cool wisps, but that's fine. Hagalar's there. Go find our item room real quick. But yeah, I, I really think that that restock plus Soul Heart in the shop plus Soul Converter play might be the play that if we get the win here, I'm not saying we will because everything can go wrong with Eden, but if we do get the win, that's definitely the play that made it happen. Uh, large sit, that's fine by me. And we are good to go. We're only on Mozo 1. Yeah, Mozo 1. Let's go. Also, um, getting Lucky Rock and that room with all the money was helpful. Not that we've used a lot of it, but still very, very useful nonetheless. Um, let's get in there. It's the Heretic, unfortunately, which is a boss that I basically can't can't not get hit by. I don't think I've ever fought this boss and not been hit. Just because that laser attack is so difficult. Uh, also, this attack is pretty difficult too. Oh, we got unfortunately the lasers. Oh, I still got hit though. <laughs> Blue cap. Ooh, damn. We've got some crazy stuff going on right now. And down to the next floor we go. But health is fantastic right now because... We have that, as I call it, tax-free HP. HP that can be re-rolled off of you. That's what you need. You need that HP that you can't, that, that the game can't steal from you. Do you know what? This is a great, great room for flight. Great room for flight. Also, Holy Light is fantastic here. And um, Holy Water. The, the double Holies, and I like them. I think I saw one of the Brimstone Goats down there. I'm just going to not pay attention to him right now. It might have just be the champion one. Oh, no, it was one of those dudes. Oh, God. That's so much worse. Yep, Brimstone boy coming in. Oh, God, our speed right now. Do we have Thunder Thighs or something going on? Our speed is so bad right now. Stop doing that, you shit. There we go. Hit, I, that's all I need to do. Hit with one Holy Light shot and it'd be done. Nope. <laughs> nope. Goodbye. <laughs> Not doing that room. I'm definitely going to play this guy for an item. We've got plenty of money. It's the last floor to spend anything. Let's see if we can get any item. Any passive out of this guy. More chance for good rerolls. Also more chance for bad rerolls, I suppose. Depends how you look at it. But I'm going to be positive here. Got to stay positive with this character. Linger Bean. There you go. Oh my goodness. This run isn't great. Again, like, we'll just get... Like, the thing that I find weird is just you just tend to get, like, really bad stats on your runs. It, you can get some pretty interesting item combinations, but the stats... How are the stats always so bad? Oh, God, this room's terrible. I'm very confused at what's going on and where the enemies are on this room. Like, Explosivo should handle you. Uh, we don't need the keys. I'm not going to fret about them. Get in here. Steam sale is back <laughs> with a vengeance. Joker here. Uh, I think we just go for it, yeah. 
I'm going to take one of these. We've got plenty of HP here. I'm going to take a risk. I'm not taking two, but... Oh, I should have... I should have used the coupon. Ah! That burns me up inside. That does. That burns me up inside. And I'm sure it does for all of you as well. Poops to get out of the gaps here. Oh, now this was the play. That was a, a mighty player right there. Okay, we do have a big boy doing his brimstone. We're good, though. We are good. Uh, we've, have we found our item room yet? No, we haven't. Why would I unleash all of these at once? What What's wrong with me? Can someone tell me what's wrong with me? Why would I unleash all these enemies on myself at once? Let's go find our item room first, and then we'll be good to go. Yeah, <laughs> taking the pentagram there and not taking sulfur was a stupid idea. Like, actives from Deal the Devil Pool are really good as well, so it would have been a super, super good player. But I am the big stupid. Oh. <laughs> I should have remembered. Um, Shouldn't be too far away from our item room here. But yeah, this is definitely... Obviously, it's really hard to notice how big of an impact... Oh, that's creep. I'm so stupid. Oh, what the hell? That was blood bombs. That was... I, like, I stood in... I was creating... Oh, my God. I was creating more creep, so therefore st stepping in more of the creep. We've got Care Sty here as well. Some bad shit going on right now. Care Sty and everything. I kind of want to just reroll this run. Uh, I'm going to use a key to grab this. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to play you. Yeah, just kind of because I wanted a better run. Is this run better, really? I don't think so. Three pennies from that. Great stuff. Okay, let's stick with this. What? What is What is this room again? Oh, it's just another one of these, isn't it? Do we still have Cursed Eye? I specifically re-rolled to get away from Cursed Eye. Oh, no. Doesn't matter. It's gone. <laughs> Got so stuck there. Friend zone. Friend. Um, I think we do want the silver dollar here. If we can manage to keep it. Right. My goodness. Oh my god, what is going on here? But I love it. I don't know how much damage we have, but I like it. Get in here real quick. Seems like a good amount of damage, to be honest. Seems like a good amount of damage. And we keep pushing forward. And try. Just try and make this run work. Come on now. Work with me, game. Ooh, 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 slipping through that was a bit tight. We do fire tears, but like at an incredibly slow rate. Do we fire tears? Oh, yeah. We oh, we've got lead pencil. You've got lead pencil. I think we've got staple plus tech two, which stops you from firing tears. It's kind of an odd combo, but yeah, it does stop you completely from firing tears. And it kind of leads to this weird, we're, we're stuck with, why is the tech two laser still there? What's going on? We just lost a lot of HP there. Is the tech laser doing anything? I can't tell if we still, the tech laser's glitched the hell out. Why is our fire rate so low? What's going on? I'm not quite sure what's happening. Okie dokie. Yeah, this tech laser may just be a bit broken. Yeah, I gotta say it was. We got holy light with this. Kind of bizarre. I don't know how we were, how we were hitting holy light. Oh, nope. Doesn't matter. It's gone. I just... I can't fathom how these rerolls are so bad. We have so many items and the rerolls are so bad. Like, look at this. Like, three tier rate. Oh my god. What on earth is that? Dude, I, I, the slurred bullets all over the screen. What am I supposed to do? My goodness. Yeah, like, 
We're getting some really bad rerolls. This one's pretty cool, but our charge speed is yet again terrible. I suppose we've not had any tiers up over the course, but that shouldn't matter. Theoretically, we should be re-rolling into the average amount of tiers ups, but we're really not. We are really not. Oh, that's beautiful though. Still, HP's good, nonetheless. Even if this, our rerolls are a bit dookie. Whoa, what in the fuck is, what in the hell is this? We've got 23 damage. We've got Proptosis Chop Milk. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And God's Flesh, just to add to it. This is kind of crazy, this. This is kind of crazy. Also, we do have a pretty good room clearer here with Magic Fingers. Although we have Butter. Definitely going to get rid of Butter real quick. Oh, we got Herming as well. Spoonbender on top of this. This is great. This is very, very good. I like it. I like it a lot. Just keep pushing forward. Hope that we don't get hit while we have this amazing run. Basically, any single room that looks a bit fishy, cheese Magic Fingers. It's going to kill rooms instantly. Like, look at that. For one penny... For the cost of five pennies, we just cleared that room out. It's just so much value. A little delirium chilling here. Ah, oh, you bastard. I tried. I really tried. Now we've got Isaac's heart. Great. That's our first good reroll. The one that we just had then. That is our very first good reroll. I wouldn't say the others have been absolutely trash, but like, they've not been conventionally great, have they? I'm gonna fart on you. This attack is undodgeable with Isaac's heart, so good luck. I mean, this attack's just undodgeable in general. What the hell's going on? Oh, we got Tech X, okay. I like this attack, but this attack is also really hard to dodge. This is one of my favorite designed bosses, but least favorite to fight. <laughs> I think he's so cool, but he's so tough. What just happened? Oh! I don't know why the bomb is, like, not a rocket, but we've got the rocket bombs. Also, where's all my HP gone? Also, why do we have Isaac's heart again? <laughs> why do we keep getting Isaac's heart? Oh, now, that was fantastic, right? And we found a secret room as well. Good stuff. We're gonna... We're back up to full health here, actually. Okay, that worked out. We'll be on our way, thank you. Yes, we've got uh, Dr. Fetus Rocket Bombs, which aren't rockets because of the missing TRGFX bug, I think. But either way, it's it's Rocket Bombs. It's, it's fucking cool. We're firing rockets like crazy. Right, full health on the last floor. This has to be it. It doesn't matter that we got hit there. We got Tech X again. Nope. Bye bye bye. Ooh, this is this with a knockback effect. It's kind of fun. It's kind of funky. Got them both. Somebody come get her. I'm trying to think of what um what enemies we could capture that would be, like, really top tier for us right now. I mean, I suppose... Doesn't matter. Like I said, I suppose that guy, but I killed him. The flight here is very nice. I don't think we want to capture any of these. We want to capture things that have some iframes or, like, really high HP, but also ones that do output a good amount of damage. Preferably not ones that deal contact damage either, because they kind of just kill themselves. Good, good. Oh, god damn. Tech X is so much worse than it used to be. It's still really, really strong, but it just doesn't have that oomph that it used to. It doesn't just walk into a room and demolish the whole thing, which is a good thing, to be fair. Okay, captured him. I don't know how good he's going to be, because he just, just kind of walk around and throw things. But let's find out. 
Oh, he, he captured him and left him on the same HP he was on when I captured him. I didn't know that was a thing. Come on. You're charmed, but I still want to kill you. He's doing things. He's doing things. He seems to be throwing maggots that he himself kills, which is bizarre. But hey her. To each their own, I guess. No soul hearts there. Lots more money. Yeah, he just he just seems to be slowly but surely killing himself, which honestly, if I look like that <laughs> might think about the same. Okay, no more captures to go with here. This is kind of a hard room. I'm just going to sit here and uh, do this. This should kill the whole room eventually. It did. Good. Right, boss time. I don't know how this is going to go, but I feel like we have quite a lot of HP. We have Botfly currently as well. It could go well. Let's just give it a go. I'm going to need you to save me, Botfly, because of some of these attacks that I still don't really know how to dodge. Damage on this face is going well. The the knockback, I, I feel like, is doing a really, really good job. Um, also, my, um, my escape friend, whatever you want to call him. Oh, no. Yep, I was just about to say, this attack will hit me. Multiple times. How many times? Just, a, just around 90 thousand times because this attack is bullshit. Fucking stop. Dude. Dude, 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 dude. That attack. That attack is... What? He's not dead. What's this attack? This boss. This fucking boss. This boss. What are you doing designing this bullshit? What is this? Oh my goodness. What was that? <laughs> We had Psy fly for all of like six seconds. Then what the hell just happened there? I think, but wait, what? I can't get around you. You're in the corner. You, you messed up, bitch. I think we've got um, Wiz shot now as well, which is just fantastic for us. No, we don't anymore. What the hell? Just Wiz shot sometimes, I guess. I don't know where they're coming from anymore. What on earth is going on? Do I have like $3 bill or something? I think I've got $3 bill. Because shit don't make no sense right now. Shit don't make no goddamn sense. Right, sit here. Do our thing. Ah, oh, no. Doesn't matter. We're dead. This attack is impossible to dodge. Oh, nope. Sack Dagger got our back. I really wish I had Spider Mod right now. Oh, we got him. Nice. We did it. Oh, my goodness. We did it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. A very stressful one. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.